on the previous video or one of our videos we showed you how to grow seedlings or to germinate seedlings from a simple seed and today we say to you once the seedling is grown you can be able to transplant it into a propagation pot which is this one propagation pots comes in different sizes depending on the, your system because different kinds of hydroponic systems have or are designed differently and some of them will be designed uh, at a five millimeter uh, cup and others 7.5 millimeter um, others even less than that so depending on the size of your hydroponic system you get the proper fitting uh, propagation pot you transplant your seedling you know you just pull out your seedling and you put it here and then um, this is a seedling that is grown in um, cocoa peat which is a very complicated way of um, growing seedlings um, but it is doable as well if you don't have uh, those other things like uh, the rock pit pellets and the, the rock wool so this can work you use it to just make sure you filter it correctly and then now my seedling is ready and then I will put it in the system that will continuously keep the flow the pumping system for it to grow until harvest time this happens right here in the system until you harvest you don't even have to remove it in order to harvest or take it somewhere else it doesn't need the soil cocoa peat is not the soil though it looks like the soil itself but it is not and it doesn't have much nutrients for your plant so you always have to add the nutrients to ensure that your plant is able to grow properly and it is well fed why are we doing this it's because growing here is very much easy for the spinach you see for your plant that you put in the soil every day your plant has to stretch its roots searching for water searching for nutrients sometimes it's too hot sometimes too cold and it doesn't get enough and your plant growth is delayed so when we do it here we make sure that the nutrients and the water are right where the, your plant needs it to be so you see our nutrient rich water in there and the roots will touch the nutrient rich water for life so it's not working hard searching for nutrients and all that because the plant is not struggling with anything it also doesn't get affected by um, pests, insects, those white flies, worms. Whew, there's so many things that are happening in the soil, I don't even remember the names. So because they are not there and your plant is lifted and safe here, it means you also don't have to put in chemicals. How awesome is that? Therefore, you are producing organic spinach. No chemicals, it's all clean. And the one who's eating it, which will be me as your customer, will actually feed on clean and healthy food. And that's exactly what we need for our bodies. So please make sure that you subscribe to Spain Metro Farming. You like, you share, and you comment. And we will keep teaching you all this. The seedling will grow well in the system and very soon I'll be calling you to come and buy when I'm harvesting because I'm not gonna just share I have friends but I don't share for free so please my friends don't come visit come by um, hydroponics farming is possible it is doable and it is affordable let's do it